are listening to words with a mad coach. I am mad coach. I am mad coach. I am. I am mad coach. I am mad coach. I am. You are listening to words with a mad coach. What's up, Mad World? It's me, Coach Sess. Checking in to see how you're doing on this wonderful Tuesday night. Uh, some things popped into my mind and I just wanted to quickly go over them. Number one, I want to give a shout out to Fight Lab veteran Jeremy Holloway and Jamie Pickett making his official UFC debut. I have looked over the stats and I see no reason why they would lose their fights this week, this weekend. Looking at Holloway's opponent, it's, it's a pick'em fight in the first round. They're both finishers, so if Jeremy loses, it's going to be submission in the first round, and if Bruno loses, it's going to be Jeremy knocking him out. But if that fight goes beyond the first round, it's Jeremy Holloway all the way, easily. He's had the better competition, and uh, his uh, work rate's a little bit better, so. I don't see him losing that fight in a decision, um, but it's the first round you really have to watch out for. Both guys are dangerous in their own way. And as far as Jamie Pickett goes, um, you know, I, I like this thing that the UFC has in their mind where if you're a new guy coming in and you know, you're know you untested and they just throw you to the sharks. And in this particular case, Jamie Pickett is the shark. This other guy has some power you want to respect, but he hasn't put that power against uh, guys that I would think were significant enough, you know, uh, in terms of a, a Jimmy Pickett whose long-term experience, his overall body of work, is going to be there for him. And I, I think that we saw that with the um, the Kosi brothers, and I forget which one fought, but we saw what happened when he got taken to that deep water. And I think that's what's going to happen here, that Jamie's going to take him to that deep water and Jamie's going to come out victorious. Anyway, that's my shout out for the Fight Lab Vets. So my topic of discussion is a question someone asked me about fighters. So Coach says, what do you look for in a fighter? And basically, my number one answer, and it will always be the answer, and I think most coaches agree, is the work ethic. The, and the reason you go with the work ethic is because you can almost train everything else around that. If you have a guy who's a super athlete, but he's somewhat of an idiot without me going into profanity, um... It's hard to get rid of those guys, you know. I've heard that saying in in business, in the business world, is not who you hire is who you don't fire. So if you allow those guys to get into your room and they become prima donnas, it's hard to get them out. And um, you know, they 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 impact the entire room. They upset the order of things, and the order of things in a room is work, and that's what it should be about. I don't do things like. Uh, you know, trying to push a guy and break him and things of that nature. For one, if he turns out to be a good guy, I want him long term. I want him healthy. And then two, there is no infrastructure in, in most of these gyms where they have a contract with the UFC or or they have a contract with some organization that's providing health insurance or things of that nature for the fighter. So I think most coaches would agree that that's not the best way, not the smartest way. And I think the way you weed them out is just through the work you know whatever you remember you already had your schedule planned before they ever showed up so stick to your schedule stick to your plan and if they can't fit into the routine then they're just not ready to be where you and your team are at the moment and maybe they get a small bite-sized taste of what they need to work on uh, what mindset they need to have and what things that they will need to expect for the future and maybe they come back and become an asset to your your team your promotion so basically work ethic is always going to be that answer everything else needs just to be secondary you can always test as they become a part of the team you push a little harder and then you test them along the way and you give them an adequate test according to the difficulty you know what the what the problem is you know um, I can put someone through a series of battery tests for martial arts skills that they've never trained in and that just wouldn't be fair 
That would just be my ego saying that I'm trying to weed this guy out. Hey, look, I'm Coach Sess, and you've had words with the Matt Coach.